so the Canadian airlift of those Syrian refugees has begun. This was a very controversial uh, issue in Canada over the election in the fall, but Canada has decided to take in at least 25,000 Syrian refugees um, by the end of February and perhaps 25,000 more towards the end of 2016. Now, when you look at how many they're taking in, I mean, uh, Germany is about has more than twice the population uh, than Canada, and it's taking in 20 times the amount of refugees. So at 50,000, even if it gets that high, not that significant in the international perspective, but this is something that Canada says it's committed to. Um, one thing that has been an issue is how these people have been cleared so quickly in a matter of weeks. The process is much the same as it is for other countries. You are cleared first by the UN and then the individual countries do their security checks. Um, the government here saying, look, we have done all we can and we're absolutely confident that we can get all those security checks done. Upon arrival, the Prime Minister actually greeted the first um, hundreds that came through. They were greeted, of course, with winter coats. It's pretty cold here in Canada going into winter and with teddy bears and a lot of good wishes. It is a contentious issue here in Canada. Some people don't know if they can actually accommodate these people well. But the people who were committed to this, and this is a lot of every ordinary, everyday ordinary Canadians have come forward with lots of donations, places to stay, and a lot of those children will be in Canadian schools by January. Paula Newton, CNN, Ottawa.